Good morning and welcome to Wayne's Lock Shop and LockReference.com. Today we're going to be moving a 2800 right, so pound safe. We're going safe. to be trying a little bit different technique today. We're going to use the uh, toe jack. We do have our big bar just in case, but we're going to use the toe jack and then we're going to use these equipment skates or dollies or whatever you want to call them. They're supposed to be good for like six tons a piece or something, so they should be more than adequate for our job here. So our toe jack's gonna have springs on it and it's gonna actually allow us to lift from the bottom and from the top. So let's go ahead and start going up with it. Lifting up on the hinge is gonna be the first way that will create some space underneath the safe. This is gonna be the easiest way to go ahead and start lifting up this massive safe. This thing weighs about 2,800 pounds. So once we get up under one corner, so what we're going to do so the safe doesn't hit the wall is we're actually going to insert this bar over here and then that's going to help it lift to the side like so. So it's going to transfer the weight like that so it lifts side to side and doesn't push the safe into the wall. Okay, so instead of tipping it back, it's going to come side to side and we'll be able to stick two 2x4s two under here. Then we'll be able to get on this side over here and stick two two by fours over here until we can get it up on four inches or until we can get our cleats underneath. Here we're showing the toe jack lifting up on the hinge. This will be the first location that you'll be able to reach after you get it up a little ways. You'll be able to use blocks and then get on the other side. This is how the toe jack works on the other side of the safe. You can see that we insert two by fours with this tall top heavy safe you never want to go more than two inches at a time so we lift one side up for two inches then the other side up for two inches and then so now we have both of the straps and the skates or dollies underneath let's see how she rides I took the swivels off of the skates because I want I didn't want them to move independently and I wanted a way to strap the skates to the safe. It would be catastrophic with a safe this top heavy. The main problem with a safe this large is that it's a very tall safe with not a very wide footprint. So it's extremely heavy and extremely top heavy. As mentioned, you can only go two inches at a time. If you go more than two inches, you chance tipping the safe over and that would be a nightmare to try and have to reset this safe you'd need major equipment to do that so in order to strap the safe to the actual uh, skates and dollies they have to remain in one direction and that swivel would not work i will experiment more with the swivels and actually turning the skates underneath the safe it could possibly make it easier however i still have to have a way to physically attach them to the safe because if it were to spit one out or you were to push the safe off of one it's almost guaranteed that it would create a situation where that safe could tip over which i definitely did not want they pushed fairly easy, and it did actually make this an easy, easy to move unit once we actually got the correct direction. Then we just used the bars to actually turn the safe in whatever direction we want it to go and push the safe in straight lines. So these did work really well. I do have more experimenting to do with them. After we get it outside, we then pick it up with the electronic pallet jack and get it up on the safe. Then we wrap it up in a blanket and shrink wrap it and it's ready to go. For more information, scan this QR card and fill out an application at wayneslockshop.com. Thanks for watching.